So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week five and Eververse. So if you guys don't know, we usually look at what the challenges are up for the week. So that way people that are away from their monitors or TVs could have a general idea of what they're going to be doing when they get home. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's take a look at what is being offered this week. Into the Depths 5. Complete the week five Into the Depths mission. Not hard. Just literally do the mission that I'm going to be doing right after this. Uh, Frontline Salvager 5. Complete eight bounties from the sonar station in the helm. Additionally, defeat powerful combatants anywhere in the system. This one's not hard. Uh, bounties just just do bounties. Uh, I know people are going to be like roll their eyes and just be like, ugh, but it's not hard. Just do some bounties. And just do it. Uh, defeat targets with hand cannons or pulse rifles. Defeated guardians or combatants defeated in salvage or deep deep dive activities. Grant additional progress. Not hard. Just use literally these two guns and you should be good to go. Heavy Salvager, defeat combatants with power weapons in salvage activities. Again, not hard. You most likely just complete all of these in one go. Uh, battle Rhythm, defeat targets anywhere in the system while using auto rifles, hand cannons, scout rifles, glaives, or linear fusion rifles. Bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians. This one you can combine with pre uh, prepared for war. So I would most likely just do these two. Gotta win them all. Complete activities in vanguard gambit or crucible playlist bonus progress is granted for completing vanguard playlist activities at hero difficulty or higher or for winning gambit or crucible matches uh, i would most likely just do this in iron banner just because iron banner is up which is this one right here complete iron banner matches earn bonus progress for wins hopefully hopefully accounts for this if not that's a huge bummer and then flood tide acquire last right which is the new scout rifle the seasonal scout rifle which is uh i just got it and it's fine uh let me check real quick what is the nightfall this week <clears throat> fallen saber that's uh okay that's not that bad and then i think no not this one where are you here you are for this week the lost sector is gonna be a chess piece okay so if you are if you are missing a chess piece definitely do a fillion's rest the fillion's rest is not that hard at least for me it's not that hard and then for Eververse, we have not that much of like a lot of things that I really care about. We have a Meditator, which is a pink shader, more purple in here. Why does it look weird? Uh, either way, it's a it's a purple pink shader. It's okay. Uh, definitely not the best, but it looks different when it has light on it. We have Abyssinian Gold. This is one of the shaders that I actually show you guys when I make armor videos. This is one of the shaders. So if you like that shader, definitely pick it up. It's a really good black shader for cloth. Um, definitely a good shader for cloth, not a good shader for plate armor because it has this brown color. So if you do find yourself using a lot of cloth armor, you're definitely going to want this shader. Uh, girls purple. We have rove, uh, rove shell, which has bubbles too. And then you say dance. I'm going to skip that all the way down. We have this projection. We have heat sink for Ariana's bow, which is literally just a shader difference. We have at any cost for the soul survivor survivor, which gives this really cool taken barrel, which definitely pick it up. It's super cool. We have celestial horn, which is it looks cool. I just why? Why would I get this um, M3 D1 shell, which the, the medic one and then tada and then threats threatening stance, which is the cowboy one, which is funny. And then for shaders at the bottom, we have Breezy Clear, which is a good summer one if you want to go for that. Uh, Jekarina, which is also really good black, and it looks really good with the pieces that I have currently, which is really weird. Just be aware that it does have a blue hue to it, which is really annoying. You can see it right here, the bottom of the gun, and a little bit on the arms as well. So just be aware of that. We have Atmospheric Glow, which is a really good green. I actually, this is one of the better greens we have. Just be aware that the off color it's not more it's not an off color but it feels more like an off color sometimes is this green right here it's really really bright just be aware of that one and then celestial dome which is really good silver and purple if you're going for that look so that's pretty much it for this week let me know what you guys are going to be picking up again these videos are supposed to be fast that way it's quick to the point and that's really it so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later